Today on Celebrity Insider, Shadi's Theron opens up about raising his son as a girl. The Seabus Table host walked away with the Silver World Medal. Actor Siabonga Khatebe has opened up and taken responsibility for all the wrong he has done. Hello everybody, what's happening? Welcome back to Celebrity Insider after... I think this is probably the longest weekend you'll ever have in your life. Yeah, the longest long weekend ever. Hey, ever. No one other than this in this coming yeah, year. Yeah, that's what so we do. So this is it. That's what we do. Okay, cool. So my name is Mpumi Mlambo. I'm with Bonga Yaklaba. We're here to dish out your favorite celebrity news gossip just the way you like them. Welcome, 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 everybody. It is what it is, and you know how we do when we do what we do. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Let's get it okay. started. Let's get Let's into start. the business. <laughs> We'll start off with Shalice Theron, mom of the year or mom of the decade, or mom forever mm. goes to Shalice Theron mm-hmm. for really accepting and loving her kids yeah. for who they are. As you may know, she's adopted two beautiful girls, uh, but you might have known that um, Jackson, who's one of uh, her kids who mm-hmm. was born a boy, uh, came into the world as a boy, but at three years old told Shalice that, no, stop calling me a boy, I'm not a boy, I'm a girl. So she says that for the past two years, she had been, uh, she had mixed up her boy's gender, Jackson, but uh, when Jackson was adamant and consistent with saying, yeah. I really, really feel like a woman, mm-hmm. a girl rather, please uh, refer to me as a girl, then mm-hmm. she really did that. She celebrates her kids for who they are yeah. and loves them as they are. I think that is so fantastic. Oh, absolutely. I think uh, it's absolutely fantastic. And in the world that we live in, uh, when the LGBTI community is being so segregated, for the mom to actually acknowledge that, hey, I'm on your side and it's, you're okay. Yeah. You are good. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with you. And I That's think, absolutely yeah, and I think it's also important because we've all, for the longest time, especially when you, when you're not aware mm-hmm. of different uh, sexes and genders, yeah. then you always feel like people become gay when they're 18. Yeah, or become, But this story is one that sort of teaches everybody that you, you, mm-hmm. you, you are who you are from. A, from inception from, from the age. Yes. 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 So shout out to Shalice for that. Shout out. And moving on to another fantastic story. We all know and love Siba on Siba's table. Guys. My husband Siba. <laughs> oh sorry. My, <laughs> my husband Brian. Right. <laughs> okay, now this is the story guys. Siba has won an award in the US. Guys, like I don't know man. It's this I just the fifth award guys after she won an award for the world cookbook uh awards over in china she won two and she won a, a silver uh in the festival film and tv festival over in new york guys so oh. this is seven awards in total international awards. international awards so I this mean, yeah this sort of shows you that you can you know your craft can take you anywhere if no, you're really definitely. dedicated and you put in the work and you love your husband mm-hmm. your work will take yes. you far <laughs> <laughs> We'll move on to the last story. We'll move on to actor Siabong Akadebe and Ratum I'm pretty sure you know that they've been a couple. They've uh, been in the media for rather the sad reasons of them breaking up, breaking up, and then getting back together. And also, there's been rumors of cheating. So Siabong and Ratum have always been very very silent about the reasons behind Mm. their breakup but this time around Siabonga was brave enough to take it to Instagram to really share um, how he has failed his family how he has failed how he has failed uh, their kids and how he wants to take full responsibility for always being uh, for always blaming other people for his mistakes and uh, not being present in in his kids life and says he wants to apologize and he wishes he could take everything back Mm -hmm. but unfortunately he can't uh, but he looks forward to being a better father Mm. And you know what? For me, the story happened publicly. We all knew what had ha- what happened, uh, even with, without them talking and speaking out. But we knew what was happening. So for him to publicly acknowledge his wrongdoing and the fact that he's sorry to his family and his wife, uh, his wife and his kids, we are absolutely um, hoping that she heals from this and uh, the family goes stronger. Yeah, because you know, if uh, a parent is not okay emotionally, mm. or both of them are not yeah, okay, it really mm. affects the kids. Mm -hmm. So big ups to him for realizing his mistakes and wanting to do better. Mm -hmm. We want more men who are going to do this, who are going to
to take full responsibility and not blame any, anybody and just be there for their kids regardless of the politics between the parents and that's how we wrap it up today uh, we do hope that you'll give us some more scoop uh, should you come across anything that we do not know about please go to our comment section below and let us know yes sign sealed and delivered that's how we wrap up the show and you know what to do if we want to get a hold of us www.jobitv.tv on our website and jobitv one word on all of our social media platforms we'll see you on thursday like a tt we're out